The painting is called Lifelines. Um, Lifelines uh, referring to lifelines to the past, lifelines to the future, and the lifelines of the many patients that have been benefited by these two institutions. The painting is a diptych, uh, two parts, one part representing Ryan Memorial, the other part representing Lincoln General. Um, these two institutions, of course, came together uh, to form Bryan LGH, uh, and then at this later point, uh, Bryan Health. The, uh, both of these institutions uh, came into being in the um, early 1920s with William Jennings Bryan donating his Fairview home and the surrounding land uh, for the purpose of, of starting a hospital. The uh, um, Robert E. Moore, who was a former uh, mayor of Lincoln and a prominent businessman, he donated money uh, about the same time uh, through a bequest uh, for Lincoln General Hospital. And so these two entities uh, formed and went on to develop very strong programs initially in cancer, heart, and all the other areas. They both developed nursing schools. Uh, the nurses lived in Fairview, and uh, the nurses lived in a building uh, right behind Lincoln General. The, um, both of these institutions soon outgrew their two buildings and went on to build new buildings. But in, in the meantime, they both became prominent for various reasons in various parts of medicine. Uh, Brian, with its heart uh, area, with Dr. Carveth, Dr. Weaver, Dr. Reese, uh, working uh, originally and forming this nucleus, uh, developed a very, very wonderful and strong heart program. Uh, Lincoln General, uh, Dr. Kolokot, uh, was was very important to beginning the advanced trauma life support uh, system for the uh, for the hospital, and it went on to become a national model for that area. Other other areas, of course, were having to do with uh, uh, chemical dependency, and the original nursing dorm became the independence center, and chemical dependency was was. Uh, their, uh, their thrust. Uh, other things having to do with uh, Lincoln General were surgeries, which was outpatient surgery, uh, youth uh, services, uh, mental health, Alzheimer's, and these sort of things. Uh, Brian, uh, women's health was an important issue, and uh, I have also included some tools of the trade in here. Uh, we have uh, the College of Health Sciences involved. Um, and as, as time went on, these two institutions uh, had their, uh, their eyes to the future with uh, robotics coming into play in modern day. Uh, MRI is a very important part of the whole situation. And uh, all in the shadow of uh, the capital, the state capital. Uh, today, uh, both institutions are looking to the future, and as they look to the future, they've spread to all corners of Nebraska and beyond.